It's Thursday, December the 5th, 2013, and I'm going to do a short walk to the top of Box Hill in Surrey, and the walk starts from the Zigzag Road bus stop. The walk climbs the fairly gentle grassy slope on the northern side of Box Hill. Further up, views open over towards Dorking. Great views to my right. As the slope levels out, there's a great view back the way I've come. Looking ahead at the track, climbing the northern slopes of Box Hill. Nice wide path. And there's the view over to my right, over towards Leith Hill and to Dorking Town. Now entering a more wooded area. As you can probably hear, it's extremely windy today. That's the way ahead, straight up that path in the centre of the frame. And here's the grave of Peter Le Bellier who was buried upside down here in July 1800. At this point where the path ahead starts to descend, the walk turns left to head towards the summit of Box Hill. Now approaching the summit of Box Hill. Now at the summit plinth of Box Hill. With great views. Here's the trig point. Looking towards the South Downs over there, now looking towards Leith Hill and there's Dorking. And that is the way ahead for the walk. As you can see, we've now joined a section of the North Downs Way. We won't be following this path for very long, but the walk does turn left, bears left with the North Downs Way. Up that path there. Now walking along the top of Box Hill, along the North Downs Way. There's one of the National Trail acorn symbols depicting the North Downs Way. I've no idea what that 50 things sign is. There's been a few of those along the way. Further along, and the views open out to my right. And there's the path ahead. The walk enters another wooded area through that gate ahead. At this point the walk leaves the North Downs Way and bears left to join the road that runs along the top of Box Hill. Listen to that wind!
the walk crosses the road and proceeds along that path opposite which heads through woods at the back of Box Hill. Now heading through the woods at the back of Box Hill and there's the track ahead. At this point the walk forks left. Heading through some dark woods at the back of Box Hill. At this magnificent yew tree, the walk turns right. And that's the way forward. Further on, the path curves to the left. beautiful view ahead through these woods. Path bearing right. There was just a brief glimpse of some sunshine. There's the path snaking through the woods. Now nearing the end of this woodland section of the walk. Now through the gate ahead and onto the open slopes of Juniper Top. Now descending Juniper Top. Now descending Juniper Top, great views ahead. Still descending. Juniper Top. Still descending Juniper Top. On the lower slopes of Juniper Top, there are cattle grazing. The walk goes through this gate to join a wide path which leads to a road. The walk joins the road opposite this steep, stepped path. However, today's walk turns left along the road. Now heading along the road. It's clouding over again. At this road junction, the walk turns left. There's the bus stop for Juniper Hall. That's looking the way I've just come. Now back at the zigzag road bus stop where the walk started. Now at Riker's Cafe, where I shall end the walk. I shall get the bus back from the Burford Bridge bus stop just over the road from here. Well, I had a cup of tea in Riker's and I'm now at the bus stop at Burford Bridge waiting for a bus to go into Dorking. And this is the end of today's walk up Box Hill.